Welcome to the University of the West of England, Laura. You've held a number of leadership positions in, in your career, but they've all tended to, or the ones in the, in the sort of recent past, have tended to concentrate on digital transformation and online things. What was it about that that really attracted you as a leader? Um, I think I discovered that I'm probably a bit of a natural reinventor or possibly even rebel. So um, my dad um, always used to say that why was a question that toddlers should go on answer, asking for, a, for the rest of their lives. And I think that's probably what's happened with me is I've kind of drifted towards bits of the world where there is enough change happening that that kind of instinct to want to see how things could be done differently is actually valuable and useful and fun. And so you, you, were, you uh, led Marks & Spencer's online and stores team for a while yep. um, in a leadership position. You've now got non-exec director roles um, in John Lewis. Retail is at the absolute sharp end of the digital revolution, isn't it? As we see our high streets change, yep. our shopping patterns changed. Give me a 10-year forecast for how you see retail. Whoa. Um, I think prediction's really dangerous, but I think it's fair to say, I mean, I was actually reflecting in preparation for this talk tonight. When I started in retail, which was only 97, so basically 20 years ago, e-commerce was 0% of retail sales, and here we are with it being high teens. Um, I think it will co comfortably grow from here. I don't know what number it settles at. But I think it becomes a bit academic because actually what's really happening is that digital is influencing almost all sales. So where the actual final transaction takes place, I think becomes increasingly irrelevant. It's the fact that digital has been part of the purchase process that's really the material change. So what, what about our students then? We've got students in all sorts of disciplines in this university, but particularly in this building, business, accountancy, finance, law, uh, people that are studying entrepreneurship, people that are studying strategic issues as well. What would you say to them about their careers and how they should think about the digital uh, revolution, should think about AI, should think about big data? If you were, you were in their position now, what, what, what do you think you could give them from the benefit of your experience? Um, I think that probably the most important quality in as you sort of embark on the world of work is actually perhaps what's got you to university in the first place, which is sort of the interest in and the enjoyment of learning. And I think that going into a career thinking about actually what's going to be really important is going on learning and that sense of curiosity and willingness to experiment and do different stuff and change your career. So start one place, see that actually the world is evolving and move. I think that would be my advice. Um, plus coupled with, um, be a bit careful of fashion, I think. I, I, I've always found if you really enjoy something, chances are you'll be better at it, actually. And therefore, finding the things where you flourish and enjoy is, to me, really important. So you must really enjoy retail because you've given a lot of your attention to retail. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like I I'm intrigued by human behavior. So I'm very interested in why do people do what they do? And shopping is one of those very easy things to kind of try and understand. Why do people turn left or right? Why do they click on this button on a website? So that's what and it's very immediate. You yeah. kind of know pretty quickly whether what you're doing is right or wrong. What, what about our high street? What do you think about the, the changing nature of our high street? Because that's occupying a lot of people, mm. really. What, what, where do you think that's going to go in the, in the next 10 years? I think that, the, the, to me, the high street does have a future. Not every high street as currently kind of constructed. But I think that physical retail is an important aspect of the whole shopping experience. And so I don't think that, the pl that our high streets will end up as complete deserts, but I do think they will be quite substantially reconfigured. And I don't think that we're necessarily, as a, as a society, tackling that as sort of energetically and sensibly as we might. Because to me, there is no point in 
kind of King Canute like pretending it's not happening. We actually need to acknowledge it. We need to think about things like business rates, the differential between warehouses and retail, and we need to think much harder about what will create a more, vi more vibrant communities. And I think that physical retail is part of that. Thank you very much. <laughs>